The story is about a man called Coach Jim White, um, a football coach who loses a bunch of jobs and finds himself in McFarland, California, the very last place he wants to be. Uh, particularly, and he realizes very quickly that the kids in the school are really bad at football. They're really small for a start, and um, football is just not their strength. But he's, he recognizes that they're also very, very fast. So he starts a cross-country team. The school had never had a cross-country team before he arrived. And coincidentally, this was the first year that California had the first state cross-country championship. And the story follows Jim and this unlikely running team to the state championships and beyond. It's both a fish out of water story and an underdog story, and Jim White's both. Um, certainly when he arrives in the town of McFarland, it's fairly ironic that his name is White because they're the only White family there. And um, the culture shock is, is pretty immense. Um, but the community is very generous to the White family and, um, and, and takes them in. And in many ways, it's about the transformation of this man and his family in this place. And, 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 and we see him become a better coach and a better father and a better human being over the course of the story. Kevin Costner is the only guy we really wanted in this in this role. I mean, obviously, he's he's the sports guy. <laughs> you know, he's made some of the most iconic sports movies ever. Um, but then when I met him, um, and I saw how the, the gentle, tender way he dealt with these kids. Um, how he was extremely fatherly to them um, and protective of them. Um, I was so impressed and, 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 and even more so by the effect the boys had on him because what they bring out in him is real humanity and humility. And, and, and this has made his performance in this movie very, very special. You know, we were also casting within the acting community, but what's amazing about the, the seven of them is that three of them are from McFarland, had never acted before. So it was f fantastic in pre-production to put them through, um, put the real kids through acting training and put the acting kids through physical training. And, the, and they all had a lot to learn from each other. And, the, the group is so tight and it's so seamless. Nobody can tell me who are the actors and who are the non-actors. They were incredibly well prepared and they worked incredibly hard and I um, had a huge amount of respect for that going in and, and a huge amount of confidence. I've been a long time fan of Maria Bellows. Um, and so it was a big thrill to have her in this movie and uh, work with her. She is um, in many ways not dissimilar to the real Cheryl White. She has the same steel and the same uh, loving toughness with her husband. You know, she's, she shoots straight and, um, and, and fiercely committed to the family and, and to the town. The amazing thing about this movie um, is that it's, it's true and at the end of the movie it's not as if uh, you get some text on screen to describe where the characters are now. You literally see them and there's no contrivance in the filmmaking because the original runners are still running with the, with the current team and this is, this is Jim's legacy um, and those guys are amazing. They all went to college, they all built amazing lives for themselves. Mark and Gordon have traditionally made sports movies and the interesting thing about this one is that it's less a sports movie as a drama, a family movie, um, 
a very warm and funny movie that happens to revolve around cross-country running.